Okay, I'm at the IMAX complex in Branson, right in front of the Little Opry Theater, and right next to Lena Ditto right over here. Good to see you again. It's been a while, my it friend. It has been a while. I always love watching you. You're so animated. Oh, that's very nice of you. You're she, an entertainer. And she does this. <laughs> I'm animated. Okay. Now, you're at a Little Opry Theater. I am. Give us your schedule and what people can expect because you've been a mainstay in Branson now for, for a while. I have. You know, it's been 20 years that I've been here. Can't believe it, really? I know. And I'm only 25, so yeah, wow. Well, you started as a youngster, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It's getting deep, save your watch. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, you know, this show is really different than what we've done in the past. In the past, I had, you know, the big, big, the band, the dancers and the comedians right, and right. the ventriloquists and, you know, and um, this year we're doing it with something different and, and, and people absolutely love it. In fact, can I just say this? Over and over, people come out saying, this is the best show in Branson, next to Jesus. They're meaning up the street at Sight and Sound. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, either way, it's a pretty good compliment. <laughs> well, you know, it's a fabulous compliment. Who can yeah. compete with that? Yeah. But I think the thing about it is that we are not the biggest show. We are live, and we are. it's in the round, mm -hmm. and people love the nostalgic quality to the show. It takes them back through the ages. We started in the 1920s. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All 20s, right. We walk you up to the year 2000, and if we can get a little further, we'll do that. So we cover about 50 artists in 90 minutes, and almost 80 to 90 years in country music history. Okay, what's your favorite eras in there? Because oh, you there would do I, that. I know, but I know that's like trying to ask a mom who her favorite child is, but Nonetheless, I know there's wow. got to be one era that draws you. Well, I love the Jim Reeves, the Patsy Cline. I love okay. the stories of Johnny Cash, and, and that's what we do. We, we unravel some of the history and the stories behind the music and the artists. All right. Now, you said the people love it. You know, you're in the round. Right. You're in a, in a smaller theater. Right. The do you love that, too? I love it. You know what? It's a challenge. It's a challenge to an entertainer because you are so close. It's so real. You're, you see the expressions immediately. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a challenge to keep the energy high. Well, you can't smoke in mirrors either. No, no, I mean, no. you're, you're right there. Right. But you, you enjoy that because, I mean, yes, you've had big shows before with a lot of components, but you're kind of out there in one, that's it, boom. It is. But, you know, I think uh, they've revamped the, the stage a little bit. Yeah. And, and uh, it's so nice. The, the acoustics are fantastic. Uh, the musicians we have, we have eight-time guitar player of the year, Dino Strunk. Uh, if you like Chet Atkins, if you like that, you can see him up close. People love it. They go over the drummer. Everybody sings. Um, you might see these guys in other shows that they don't get to sing in. Well, we turn them loose. Everybody sings and uh, portrays that artist and talks about the artist. It's just fantastic. It really is. It's so much fun for me to watch. A lot of strength on the stage is what you're saying. Strength on the stage. Yeah. Very good. All right. Tell people like the times, the days that, that okay. they can come and see you at the Little Opry. Well, they can always go to our website, which is countryevolution.net. Not dot com, net. Dot net. Okay. And on there, they'll see a calendar. And the calendar kind of varies uh, mostly because I have a boy in baseball and uh, he's really good. So I have to follow him around the country on the weekends. This, this is good. So it's usually Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Occasionally we do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday uh -huh. at 5. And that's a first two. I've always been morning shows. Yes. At 5 p.m. And it's 90 minutes. So you're actually staying up way past your bedtime these days. Um, is that what you're saying? <laughs> That uh, morning show for years. I, I know that. I know. And I you're being a mama, so you can come. You can Absolutely. come and see her. She's yeah. a real honest gosh mama <laughs> who follows her mama. boy around playing <laughs> baseball. This is good. I hope you're having much, it's so much fun here. You know what? It's a blast. And and really, I invite everybody out. If you like country, or if you you even think you like country. We take you from the 20s all the way through. It is not boring. People come out and they're like, that went so fast. It flies. Come and see her at the IMAX complex. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. Good to see y'all.